Hey everyone, so I kind of started coding this, um, I'm going to do my own test assessment, or my tax assessment thing here. Um, I think I've done this one before, I don't know how much I've done, I think I, I might, maybe have gone through coding, but anyways, I was going back to do this again, just to kind of up my own answer, and as I was doing it, I was thinking maybe this would be a good chance to, um, just kind of document my thinking, and then you can watch it if you want, or, you know, if not, that's fine. So basically, yeah, so I'm starting out with my income is great, it's going to be equal to this, right, I'm taking in from the user, I'm doing next in here, I think there's some problems using next in, but I'm, I'm going to leave it here for now. Uh, we could also put the little wrapper thing on it to, to turn into an integer, uh, to do the parse int thing. Um, anyways, okay, so what I'm doing here, uh, I'm going to, so basically what I'm doing is I'm going to take in the income, and I'm just going to start, I'm going to start at the top and work my way down. So I'm going to see if the income is greater than 1 million rupees, uh, I'm going to like, tax that part and then I'm going to reduce the income to be directly to 1 million rupees. Um, so I'm going to kind of cut off the top, I'll tax it, figure out what the tax is for the top part, uh, and then I'll cut the taxes, um, cut the income down to, oh I think I'm just, like thinking as I'm talking about what I could be doing differently here. Uh, but I'm basically going to like, so if it's like 1.2 million, I'm going to take the, the top 0.2, tax that, and then I'm going to cut the income down so it's only like 1 million left. And then I'll pass that on to the next um, uh, the next if statement, and that will see, you know, if it's greater than 500,000, then, well, anyways, we'll see how kind of it works, but I'm going to, I'm going to think about it having, like, a whole tax thing, and I'm going to kind of chop it down each time, uh, until I get down to the very bottom, so I'm going to start with my income is greater than, so one thing I was thinking about, like, um, okay, as I type this, you know, if it's greater than, I think this is 1 million, right, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, is that right, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, no, um, okay, so if the income's greater than 1 million, then I need to, tax it. So one thing I'm going to do here is, I mean, obviously as I need to go, I need to like tax total. Let's say that. I'm going to declare that to begin with as we go through. I'm just going to kind of increase this. So in, if the income is greater than 1 million, then my tax total is going to be equal to, I'm just wondering if I could do this with some methods in here. My tax total is going to be equal to what? 30%. So 0 0.3 times however much is over 1 million, right? Because looking at the thing, um, it's actually going to be, it says, like, if it's in the category of 500,001 to 1 million, um, then it's going to be in Tier 3. Tier 4 is over 1 million. So I'm going to take the total income times... Oh, yeah, so I want to subtract... Oh, income, I don't want to do times. I want to subtract 1, 2, 3... I think that was four. One, two, three. One, two, three. Um, yeah, so that should work. So I'm gonna like take the total income and I'm just gonna subtract one million. That'll get like how much is above one million. I'm gonna add that to my taxable total. And I need to probably, I don't really have to do this, but I'm gonna say plus equals there to show that we're adding that together. Yeah, uh, I'm looking good so far. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna cut the tax total down and I'm gonna say the income is now equal to one, one two, three. One, two, three, like that. And so I've kind of like, if it was 1.2 or 1.5 million, I'm going to tax the top, the stuff that's above 1 million, and then I'm going to kind of like shrink the whole income down to just be 1 million. And now I could do this again and say something like if income, because again, if income's updated right now, so if income is greater than, um, what's the next step? 500,000, or I could do greater than or equals to 501,000. And I'm going to do this thing again. I'm going to say tax total. Oops. Uh, tax total is going to be equal to 0.2 times income minus 500,000. I can already tell there's some, like, there's not any, like, problems with this. But, well, we'll see kind of how, if this works at the end. But, like, since I have to, like, start copying and pasting code, I'm thinking, like, I should make this into a method. So I might kind of just do this as I have it, and then come back and try and see if I can turn it into a method version. Because it's a little bit kind of messy to do this. A little bit not so nice to do this repeated kind of code like this. So let's see. Um, so if I'm doing the same thing again and again, I should really be thinking about, okay, how can I make this better and turn it into some uh, more like methodized, like chop it up into, into different parts here. And so you might think some of this stuff is not like like, if my income is greater than 100,000, then, or excuse me, greater than a million, then I should just, you, you might do, like, okay, I'm going to tax just the part that's above a million, and then I know, like, 
like the, if the amount that's under a million is always going to produce this much tax. Uh, and so I could contain that all within this method here and then do an else if. But the beauty of my code that I'm writing so far is that I don't have to code for all these separate things. Um, it's going to go through and look and say, okay, um, if I put in 500, well, I need to probably get to the end of this, but if I put in 600,000, this code will work the same exact way. If I put in 1 million, I don't need to say, I don't need to branch my code out right right away. Like these four tests, one, two, three, four, are going to work no matter what input I, I put into this. Well, well, let me see if this actually works before I start talking like that. Um, and then anything, so now our income's down to 250,000, so we should be fine. So system out, uh, print line, and I'll say you owe tax, so something like that. And let's take a run at it. And let's see, we got reader, yeah, okay, it should be good. Let's say, let's just put in 120. If you make 120,000 rupees, you're going to owe zero. Um, let's see, what about if we owe... So that seems like that's working so far. If I did the 243, oh zero. Okay, and let's see. I think what we really need to do is just run a bunch of tests on this. One, two, three. And we'll see. So I'm, I'm going to, I would just, I'm going to get a spreadsheet out, I think, and double check these numbers to make sure they're working. Um, so I'm going to do that. I'll, I'll pause the video and come back after the, after the result, just to kind of double check my work here. But what I really like about this um, is I don't have to have these wild branches. Like depending on the income, I don't have to branch into like four different branches of my code. This code's going to work the exact same way no matter what my input is. Uh, like so, for example, when I put in 250,000 as my income, like fine, we skip this. Oops, we skip the first step. We skip the second step. Uh, and I think 250,000, so we'd skip this last step and we'd just be done. Uh, the tax total starts at zero. I mean, whereas if we put in 750,000, we skip the first step and then we move on to this this step and the next step. So, yeah. Um, so I, I really like this approach to the. I really like this approach because it's, you know, if we had like 10 tax brackets, we don't need to like choose like we don't have to have like. 10 pads for people to go take it immediately. We could take the same kind of method and just do it 10 times. And actually, as I say method, we should probably turn this into a method. I, I'll see if I can I have to think about how I could take the next step and turn this into a method. But for right now, let me pause and let me do a quick uh, spreadsheet just to double check my work. Yeah, so I did some scratch pad on, on my other screen here. And it looks like this should work. Um, it seems like it's, it's catching all the, well, what I, what I kind of wanted to be doing. Um, yeah, so that's one way of doing this. Uh, let's see what else I was going to say. Yeah, so what I, I just tested, I tested above 1 million. I tested within 1 million. Uh, I tested kind of each one of the brackets. Uh, this should work. I mean, I think if I really want to, like, if I really want to do some good edge edge testing, I should really be looking at, like, you know, 501, 500,001 rupees to make sure that I've caught the kind of border cases, right? Because 500,001 should produce a different tax rate than 500,000. I mean, it's going to just be on that one rupee that's above 500,000. But that should trigger like a different tax bracket. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna stop the video here. I'm gonna make a second video in just a minute and think through how I could turn this into methods. Uh, so I'm gonna stop this.